Okay, today's book is called Max and the Birdhouse. Max and the Bird House. Let's have a good look at that word house because it might be in the book later on. The O and the U are saying our house. Max and the Birdhouse. See there's some little birds, little bits of grass, it's like a watering can with some snow on it. That must be Max, that looks like it could be his granddad. Let's read and see. Max and granddad went outside. Look at the snow, said Max. It's all over the garden. It is winter now, Max, said Grandad. It will be cold for weeks and weeks. Let's have a look at that word garden. It's a long word and if we did our single sounds, g, a, r, d, e, n, doesn't quite sound right. So sometimes we have to use bigger chunks so we can go g, a, r says ah like at the end of car and then den. So let's have a look here on this piece of paper we've broken up garden. G, r, den. That's still outside. The little birds look cold, said Max. They will be hungry too, said Grandad. Let's get some bread and some nuts. Looks like they might have some bread and nuts for them there. Uh oh, I wonder if that cat's going to be a problem. Here you are, little birds, said Max. The big cat from next door jumped up on the fence. said Max. The little birds are flying away. They will not come back for the bread now. Go away, cat! The next day, Max came out with some bread for the hungry birds. But the big cat came back. Max, said Grandad, we can make a birdhouse. Will you come and help me? Max helped Grandad make a little house for the birds. This will be a good place for the birdhouse, said Grandad. The cat will not get the birds way up here. The big cat sat on the fence. It looked at the birds. Okay, one of the special words we want to have a look at here is place. If I bring out our piece of paper with the word on it, if you used your single sounds, pull, or even some chunking, pull, 
a s e. And that sounds a bit funny, but what happens is sometimes when there's an e at the end, it likes to turn cranky. Oh, there's its angry eyebrows, eyes, angry teeth. And it reaches over and bosses the vowel. It's got its two hands oh, reaching over. And it says to that vowel, so it says to the A, say your name. And put an exclamation mark because it's very bossy and very angry. So now the A doesn't say A, ah, it has to say its name, A. And then it's very exhausted from being so bossy it doesn't say anything. So it's pull A S place. <gasps> How tricky is that? Bossy E reaches over the consonant and bosses that A vowel A there to say its name. So it says a. The birds went into the little house to eat the bread and the nuts. They are safe now, said Max. It looks safe. S Bossy E reaching over saying to the A. Say your name. S A F. Safe. They are safe now.